Welcome back. You have heard about his crew, you have heard about his left hand man, but now it's time to meet the man himself. This is Captain Hook. Now, anyone who has ever watched Peter Pan will always remember Hook. He was one of the great pirates sailing the seven seas with pride. But then when he fought with Peter Pan for the first time, Pan cut off his left hand and fed it to TikTok the crocodile. Damn, it goes to show that you should never mess with Pan. After that, Hook vows revenge on Peter Pan, and he will never leave the seas of Neverland until Peter is dead. But at the end, he runs away from getting eaten by TikTok. Now, in other Disney films, the villain would get killed off at that point. But Walt Disney said, The audience will get to like Hook, and they won't want to see him killed. You may remember the Captain more for being funny when he's scared of TikTok, and that he's one of the most famous Disney villains around. But he's also the most dangerous at the point where he will kill off anybody. He actually killed off one of his crew for singing. Another thing that makes him very dangerous is that he's very smart. You should never make an agreement with this guy because he knows how to find loopholes. For example, try to remember what Hook says at Tinkerbell in this scene. Madam, Captain Hook gives his word not to lay a finger or a hook on Peter Pan. Now watch this. But Captain. Wouldn't it be more uh, humane like to slit his throat? Aye, that it would, Mr. Smee. But I have given me word not to lay a finger or a hook on Peter Pan. In the film, he was animated by Frank Thomas and was voiced by Hans Conrad, who also did the live action model of Hook and did the magic mirror in some Disney specials. Nowadays, he's voiced by Corey Burton. You know, the same guy who does Yen Sid. Later on, Captain Hook would make numerous of appearances, like in the sequel of Return to Neverland, where he tries to both kill off Peter and look for his treasure that he buried. You know, that's what I don't get about pirates. They bury treasure, wait a while, then come back to take it. What were they thinking? Arr, come on, mateys! Go bury me treasure! All done, Captain! <laughs> now let's go sail the sea! <laughs> Several days later. You know what? I changed my mind. Quickly! Let's go back before someone else gets it! Anyways, back on to Hook. He made some appearances on TV as well, like a cameo in Raw Tunage, some appearances in the House of Mouse, he's even one of the main villains in Mickey's House of Villains, and an antagonist with Smee in the preschooler show, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Hook is also shown in many parades and shows at the Disney parks like Fantasmic, and is in Kingdom Hearts, where he joins Maleficent so that he can use the Heartless to destroy Peter Pan. No matter where Captain Hook is in, you'll always see him wearing that same red captain suit that we all know. But in Epic Mickey, he seems to be more different than usual. In the game, Captain Hook is the second boss that you'll encounter. He has been sucked in a beetleworks machine, and now he's turned into a mechanical monster. He even made some of his crew transform into beetleworks as well. When you finally meet him in the Jolly Roger, you have two totally different options to battle Hook. You can either jump the sails and free the sprite so that Pete Pan can fly and he'll battle Hook for you, or you can thin out the barrel so you can turn the gears around to send him to the crocodile. When I was playing it and I was up to him, I discovered that there's actually a third way to defeat Hook. When you decided to fight him instead of freeing the sprite, you don't necessarily have to set up everything to send Hook to the crocodile. 
You can just thin and spin, thin and spin, thin and spin until eventually breaks into pieces. The result will still be the same as sending him to the croc, but it's cool to see Hook all broken up. On the other hand, it's cooler to see a 3D reenactment of the crocodile chase scene from Peter Pan, 